Hi, welcome. Today we're here at Harbor Crossings Manufactured Home Community. We've had a lot of people this winter asking us about questions about the heat tapes in their homes. And we're here with a brand new house that arrived. And Joe is our maintenance foreman here at Harbor Crossings. We have Junior with us also. And he's going to be teaching Junior, who's new on our um, staff, how to put on a heat tape. So we're going to go ahead and ask some questions. Mr. Dolan's also going to be speaking and asking questions so that all of our residents and any other homeowners out there who need to uh, understand how to do this will get a really good understanding. Go ahead, Joe. So, Joe, the first thing I think we should start with is to show them what a water line looks like that does not have any heat tape on it. That's a great idea. a brand idea. new water line. It was just installed. Louder. So this we, was a brand new water line just installed. And we have a what we call our water pit which is basically where the water line is coming up out of the ground. That's the black line that's coming up. And then it goes into the blue hex water line. And this particular water line has a shutoff valve on it. And then it continues, as you can see, right into the bottom of the house. So this is the exposed water line before we put the heat tape on it. So Joe, why don't you explain to us what you're going to be doing with this particular product. And this product is manufactured by a company called Frostex. What we're going to do, we're going to start the Frostex down in the pit, all the way down against the ground because a lot of people don't realize you have to put it all the way down so it doesn't freeze in the bottom. And what we want to do is we want to take the end of it and make sure the end is going to be up higher than the concrete in case we have any water issue the water will not affect the heat tape because if water gets on the end of the heat tape the heat tape does not work so where do you buy that any plumbing supply store has heat tape there's many different types this is one of the better types so that's why we use it and what makes the better type um, it has a coat on the outside of it that's made out of stainless steel so rodents if they get under your house they can't chew through it okay. um, this cap in the heat tape is a waterproof cap it has a gel inside of it so that if water does get to the line it doesn't affect it as much we put that on first and then we want to take our heat tape put it down in the pit make sure it's going to be sticking up above and then we want to take a piece of tape and tape it where it's at so it's above the concrete line again so we have no water issue it's okay if the uncut part of the heat tape gets wet but not the end of it and does it matter what tape you use um, no you can use any type of an electrical tape you don't want to use duct tape because it'll fall off and you want to try not to wrap the heat tape over top of itself because it can make it um, it has a fuse built into the plug it can make it pop the fuse and then your heat tape doesn't work so I'm going to go around to the other side so we can get a better okay. view of what you're doing here. Now what um, I'm doing is taping the heat tape down all the way down against the ground so that we know that our heat tape is covered completely. Covering the pipe completely. Then we want to pull some tape out so that we can get a length so we know approximately how much we need. We'll get an approximate length, which is about there, and then we'll pull out about an extra two feet because we have to wrap it around the pipe a little bit. You don't want to wrap it around the pipe too much because it'll cause it to pop its fuse, and then the heat tape doesn't work. Now what you want to do is wrap the heat tape from where your two ends meet. You want to start wrapping the heat tape around the pipe once about every three feet. And when you come to these corners, you have to tape the corners also because the corners will make the heat tape stick up above the pipe and it doesn't heat it as good. It'll still work, just not as good. It gets really cold, it'll freeze. And the so whole now, idea behind this is to keep the water line from freezing when it gets 
to temperatures below zero. Exactly. And what we do, we pull, that's about three feet, and we're wrapped once. So then we'll bring it again, wrap it around again. And then because we have a corner here, we'll bring it around one more time so it'll ride with the corner so it doesn't bind up. You don't have to put a lot of tape. You can tape it every about five feet. So I'll go back and put another piece of tape in the middle here. You don't want to put too much tape because when you go to change it, it makes it really rough. Now, hand me that in. So other kinds of homes have these issues of exposed water pipes, yep. correct? It's yes. not just something particular to trailers, mobile homes, or manufactured homes. No, it happens on regular houses. Um, anywhere there's water pipes that are exposed out of the ground. The crawl spaces of homes, anywhere it can get cold. So and this... Here, uh, you want to take this all the way up till it meets the floor. Like that. If not, it can freeze. If you even leave a little piece of it exposed, it can freeze. So you want to make sure it goes all the way up to the floor and put a piece of tape on it. How long have you been doing this, Joe? How many years? 13. 13 years, all of them here at Harbor Crossings. And through the years, you've really come up with uh, the right way of doing this to prevent yes. problems? Yes, yes. And what kind of problems do you encounter? With the heat tapes? Yeah. Um, the main problem used to be like a mouse or something will get under the house and chew it or it'll get wet down in that pit. Okay. So we try to eliminate them problems now. So this plug that we're using here is a fused plug that has a temperature sensitive feature in it so that when the temperature drops the heat tape comes on automatically? automatically. Yes, you can leave okay. you can leave the plug plugged in all year long. A lot of people will unplug it, but if you unplug it and you forget to plug it back in, oh, it's gonna be frozen next year. Okay. Why do they unplug it? Are they afraid of they don't, electricity or something? They, well they don't realize that it shuts itself off when it reaches a certain temperature. But every it does. Kid, every kid is like that, or some are not, and that's all of them are like that. Okay. Yep, they all have a uh, thermostat. If not, they would just heat up until they, you know, caught on fire or melt. So it's a safety feature of the heat tape. Right, kit. and you want to leave some extra tape out like this, so that when you come out next season, because this pipe's going to get wrapped with a foam to help hold the heat in, so it doesn't freeze. You want to leave this exposed so that when you come out next season, you can reach under the home and put your hand on this and it'll actually be warm so you know it's still working. Very nice. <clears throat> if you bury it and you have nowhere to grab onto it to see if it's working, you won't know if it's working. And just because this light is on does not mean that the heat tape's working. What is the light sensor for? That's to let you know that it has power to the unit. Okay. It does not necessarily mean that the unit is working. Okay. <clears throat> On this particular heat tape, you can feed the wire into it and screw these two screws down. And it has little teeth in there that puncture the wire so that the wire gets a good contact. Some heat tapes have a plug end on them that you just plug in. But this, this is a little bit of a better of a system. So for my senior citizen ladies, um, who would they have installed the heat tape for them? Any plumber should be able to install a heat tape. It's actually sold at a plumbing supply house. So. And what would something like this cost somebody? It depends on the length of your piping. They charge you by the foot for it. Um, different types of heat tape cost different amount. Like this heat tape's a little more expensive because of the covering on it. But uh They also heat, make a pre-made heat tape that might be ten feet or twenty feet okay. or thirty feet. Right. The way that we do it is we buy this material 
in a spool of 100 feet or 200 feet or 300 feet. So we're basically making it to the actual size that it needs to be. And then yeah. it gets plugged in underneath the house. You'll find a plug, which is also protected by a ground fault circuit interrupter. And that will allow power directly to the heat tape, which then powers the cable. Right. So the next step would be is we then put on a foam pipe insulation. And does every you house have the electric already? Yes, uh, every yes. house should have that. And you can buy the foam insulation at any plumbing supply store also. It already has tape on it. You pull the tape and it'll stick together once you put it over the pipe. We're not going to stick it together today because we have to get an inspection on our home. But the foam basically goes right over the pipe like this. When you come to a corner, you pull the foam around the corner, you'll squeeze it together, and you'll put tape on it. You want to tape up here near the floor, you want to tape the corners, and then about every two feet along the pipe you'll tape. Now I've seen where some people just use the pipe insulation without the heat tape, which does not work. No, it does not work. But so if the you pipe need... freezes, it will help it stay frozen longer. Yes. So it's a combination of the heat tape cable, the pipe insulation, and proper installation yes. of the product to make sure that it works. And once this is plugged in, it's pretty uh, foolproof. There's really nothing else you need to do in the winter. You don't need to run your water at your faucet to keep your line from None freezing, which is a huge misconception for a lot of people because if you do allow your water to trickle in your sink, hoping that your water line won't freeze, that small amount of water that goes through your sewer line could actually freeze your sewer line and then you have a real serious problem. Yep. So it's a simple installation, easy to take care of, and it's something that you should probably do around September, October. You get outside, you check to make sure, as Joe indicated, that the heat tape is plugged in, that it's warm, and that your foam insulation is still all intact. And how often do you have to do this? Every five years, you said? You, you should uh, check it every year. Okay. And to be safe, I would replace it about every five years. Well, this has been really informational, and we appreciate you showing us how to do this. No problem. So we'll be sending this video out to our residents because this winter, for some reason, we've had a lot of phone calls and disasters from people. And it's important for them to understand what technically what actually happens underneath their homes. And uh, we're sure other people on YouTube will find this informative and helpful. We're here to help and we're hopefully able to take care of your own housing needs. Join us here at Harbor Crossings. We'd love to have you.